Can Elon Musk sell 1 million Teslas in 2021? Welcome to Elevator, a place to elevate your skills. In this video, we'll use a SWOT analysis to break down Tesla's business model. We'll analyze its strengths and weaknesses, as well as its opportunities and threats. How do you, how do you, how do you plan a business? I don't really have a business plan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin with strengths. The first one is a powerful brand. Tesla is an electro pioneer in its niche. Ask anyone what electric car brands they know and the answer you'll hear most is Tesla. The company has such a powerful brand that the name alone leaves the competition behind. The second strength is innovation. Beyond brand power, Tesla builds its cars on advanced technologies. The Tesla S Plaid Plus is planned to launch in 2021, and it's a record breaker. One charge powers it for 520 miles, and it accelerates to 60 miles in less than two seconds. And even if competitors can still match those metrics, Tesla's use of artificial intelligence and autopilot is its trump card. For other companies, this level of innovation is beyond reach. Tesla's third strength is their business model. Tesla's unique business model sets it apart from other automakers. The company got rid of most of its dealerships, reformatting the rest into showrooms. Their sales happen online, where customers build their car with the features they want. This business model allows Tesla to reduce a lot of costs. The fourth strength is the company's high stock price. Tesla is now a leading brand on two major world markets, China and the US. In 2020, Tesla's stock skyrocketed by 740%. Prices went up to $883 per share. The price dipped at the beginning of March 2021, but had stabilized by mid-month. At $671 per share, it still dwarfs Tesla's competitors. For instance, Volkswagen's stock price was $353 in the same period. The fifth strength for Tesla is ZEV credits. These enable Tesla to earn money from its competitors. In 2020, Tesla achieved its first profitable year, earning $721 million. And competitors helped it get there by buying ZEV credits from Tesla. ZEV credits are points that automakers earn when selling cars with zero emissions. To avoid fines for breaking green laws in 11 ZEV states, gas engine car manufacturers can buy credits from EV companies. The sixth strength, a powerful employer brand. According to Universum, Tesla has become the most attractive employer among engineering graduates in the US. Tesla's ideal working environment allows the company to attract the best talent. No wonder, considering they have Elon Musk taking the lead. Uh, some people think I'm an alien. But even the strongest have their weaknesses, and Tesla is no exception. The first weakness is the troublesome production process. Elon Musk's inflated ambitions for Tesla have pushed the company to achieve more, but not all of them are realistic. In 2019, Musk promised to release a million self-driving taxis by the end of 2020. It's not the first production difficulty. The Tesla Model X was delayed by a full two years. The second weakness lies in the notion that EVs are not just cars. Among consumers, EVs are still not perceived as ordinary cars, and most people prefer internal combustion engines. The third weakness is inconsistent demand. Despite the powerful brand, Tesla models vary in popularity. While models 3 and Y are high in demand, the S and X have found few buyers. The reason is their price. These particular EVs significantly exceed the price of their competitors and of other Tesla cars, which seriously affects the demand for them. Yeah. 
The fourth weakness is the company's global position. Tesla is active in the US and Chinese markets, but hasn't gotten a foothold elsewhere. In 2020, Tesla's sales in Europe fell by 30%. In the Netherlands and Norway, countries known for eco-consciousness, sales fell by 78% and 75%. The fifth weakness is financial losses. Despite turning a profit in 2020, Tesla and financial success have had a strained relationship. The company has suffered losses throughout its history, showing profits only in 2020. This was mainly due to the sale of statutory loans. The next thing we'll consider is the company's opportunities. Opportunity number one is a great growth potential. Tesla has a great opportunity to use its current success for development, as the demand for EVs is expected to grow year by year. For now, EVs occupy just 2.5% of the car market, but according to Deloitte, electric cars will take a quarter of the market by 2030. This potential is increased by the second opportunity, the global trend towards environmental protection. For example, the UK plans to phase out conventional cars altogether by 2030. Other leading countries also have similar plans, which is a major boon for Tesla. The third opportunity is new markets. Tesla doesn't have to wait until 2030. They can increase sales by entering new markets. Currently, the main consumers of electric cars are based in China, the USA, and Europe. But there are many more countries and consumers besides these. Entering wider markets is an outstanding growth opportunity. The fourth opportunity lies in the production of cheaper models to increase market share. However, for this to happen, Tesla needs to reduce the cost of its cars, which is clearly not aimed for the mass market. The fifth opportunity for the company is in-house battery production. At the moment, Tesla batteries are produced by Panasonic. However, Elon Musk announced Tesla's plans to produce its own batteries. This should help reduce production costs as well. The sixth opportunity is the release of the self-driving EV. In the future, the company plans to release an unmanned Tesla with a price tag of $25,000. The model is already being developed. This EV has the potential to reshape our idea of what a car is altogether, and to strengthen Tesla's position as a market leader too. The last opportunity is the power of Elon Musk's personality. Even if something does not go according to plan, Tesla will always be saved by Musk and Twitter. Recently, Musk tweeted to his followers to use Signal Messenger. The tweet sparked rumors of a hidden message about the stock market, and people rushed to buy shares in Signal, not the messenger company, but an unknown tech company of the same name. Just one tweet made their shares go up by over 1,000%. What other marvelous things could happen if Musk tweets twice? Now, let's talk about threats. The first threat is growing competition. Musk's plans may be thwarted by other auto manufacturers, Tesla used to be one of the few players in the EV market. Now, Renault, Mazda, Toyota, and other auto giants pay attention to this niche. By 2030, BMW plans to occupy half the European green car market. Mazda is going to produce only EVs and hybrids, and Honda will electrify two-thirds of its cars. The second threat is lawsuits. Tesla has to fight not only in the market, but also in court. Lawsuits are regularly filed against the company that question Tesla's technology and result in payouts. The third threat is a limited business model. In some cases, the law does not just interfere with the company, but completely prohibits its work. 10 U.S. states only allow cars to be sold through auto dealers, not directly. And direct sales is what Tesla's business model is built on. The fourth threat is the lack of driving laws for self-driving cars. 
Perhaps the problem is that Tesla is ahead of its time, and society is simply not ready for it. If the company released a completely self-driving car today, the lack of laws regulating these vehicles would make scaling sales difficult. The fifth threat is limited production materials. Tesla buys raw materials from suppliers to create electric batteries and other EV parts. Lithium, aluminum, copper, and other materials aren't infinite and their prices fluctuate. This affects production and makes Tesla dependent on suppliers. The sixth threat is that the value of the company's shares depends on the hype. Analysts at Barclays found a relationship between the growth of Tesla shares and discussions of the company on the forums. For example, as soon as users comment on the activities of Tesla on Reddit, its shares go up. Analysts consider this a negative phenomenon and believe that investors are not evaluating Tesla's financial performance, but its popularity. We just conducted a SWOT analysis of Tesla. Now we need to understand what Elon Musk is going to face in the future. Tesla is an innovator in the car market and continues to confirm this title. The company is developing autopilot technology and is working on the production of its own batteries, which will reduce the costs of the car and expand the consumer base. The constant pursuit of high technology has a side effect. The company spends millions of dollars annually on research and thus drives itself into debt to innovate. And, although Tesla's positions are stronger than ever, they cannot ignore its weaknesses and external threats. The company must focus on financial stability, develop production capacity, and increase its market share. This was Tesla's SWOT analysis. In the near future, we will analyze other companies using the same method. Write in the comments which companies you're most interested in. Thanks for your attention! Like and subscribe to the Elevator channel and elevate your skills!